morning hello hello neighbors welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by let's get into today's general hospital review Ooh, finn was mad finn was mad but we're we gonna get to him in a minute let's start with something easy we had tj and molly today he apologized they made up they had love in the afternoon That's, that was pretty much a wrap. They they realized that they both was paranoid about Christina carrying the child. Which y'all kind of too late. Because y'all pretty much gave her hell. So, um, yeah. That was TJ and Molly. Let's get with um, Chase and Brooklyn. They made it. They made their way over there to the quarter mains. Um, everything was already. I mean, Tracy was on the ball, y'all. She was. She was. Told y'all, she was what Finn needed. Like the combination of everybody, that's that was needed. Um, she called ahead. Had Lois meet them at the door. Um, once they got there, Chase let Yuri know. Hi, Yuri. By the way. Yuri know to not let his brother anyway on the premises. Yeah, they like they was on point. Then he made another phone call. Chase made another phone call. I thought it was on Stella, but no, no, no. He was on his noggin. That's good. That's good. Good to know. But they took Violet over there. Lois made Violet um, super comfortable. Lois always comes up with some names for people so um every two seconds she was giving Violet a different nickname even Violet at the end was like you sure do have a lot of names for me she's like oh girlfriend I'm just getting started yeah we know so they get Violet all set up with um Scout's pajamas by the way um they said that it was a Scout that had so many um pajamas or whatever they trying to make it sound like that that's where scout be so we never see her with drew but apparently she hangs out at the queues all the time so yeah whatever um so they get her set up um like i said uh chase made another phone call and who was that that was to diane <clears throat> He called Diane. She's on the case. He told her what happened that night. Violet thought that Finn was dead. Child, once you didn't said that, I'm sorry, unalive. Once you didn't said that, yeah, Diane was like, uh, what you need? They need a restraining order. They need a temporary custody. They need a lot. Then we swing over there to good old. We might as well just go ahead. Swing over there to Finn. Like I said, he was mad. He was mad. Tracy is there. She done made him a room and a set up appointment over there at the rehab center. It's going to be for 90 days. Um, he was in the back for some odd reason. She was on the phone talking to uh, uh, Yuri and all, all. Then he comes out and um, he like, all right. Uh, he was such doing such battle with himself. Like he wanted to go ham on Tracy, but he realized it was Tracy and she was standing there, stone cold face, like I don't care what you do, what you're barking. It don't matter to me. I said what I said. You're not getting your daughter back until you complete the rehab. You're not getting your daughter back until you take care of yourself. You're not getting her back. Like he was not understanding that. He was he one minute he was showing her rage, then he had to pull back because she started showing him the pictures. I'm he was like, Oh, I want my daughter uh back or whatnot, and I'm going over there. He was figuring it out. He's like, Oh, was she over there at the queues? I'm going over there to get my daughter, and if they don't give me back, I'm calling on the cops. She was like, Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Pretty sure the cops don't want to see this. Yeah, Finn, you forgot who your friend is. This is Tracy Quartermain. You're going to use this. Quartermain, sir. 
they blackmail all family members and friends and strangers. <laughs> so uh, he was like, um, why are you doing this to me? She's like, Finn, I'm not doing anything to you. I am doing this for Violet. I am doing this for your father. I am doing this for you. Now, he's not understanding that. He, he, he was like, oh, I see the pictures. Okay, he's trying to negotiate himself. Like, okay, I'll go to meetings. She's like, we passed that. You ain't want to go to the meetings before, like you told us. All right, all right, forget. I'll do the, what do you say? I'll do the blood test and I'll, I'll do a drug test. I'll do the, you, you about to agree to do everything but what she's asking you to do, sir. She's asking you to go to rehab for 90 days and you want to do everything else but that. And tell her with a straight face, I ain't got a problem. Yeah, okay. So she was like, I'm trying to get you to understand you have to take care of self. You have to get over this grief and everything else that you have to work through. And you're not handling right. And she's like, I'm doing, he was like, again, you want to take everything from me or something. And she was like, I am doing this for Violet, Violet, Violet. I was like, oh man, she getting pissed. Yeah, but bro, you, that's it. You signed to, how come you ain't doing all that puffing and puffing like you did Liz? No, he, every time he did, he had to pull himself back because he look, was giving her a look like, oh, that's a, that's a corner me. Yes, that's a corner me, motherfucker. She got a lot of connections and a lot of dangerous family members all in between. So she basically turned her back, grabbed her keys, grabbed her bag. She was like, I said what I said. I made you an appointment. You can go if you choose. But you won't be getting her back. And if you don't go, I will make sure to use all my power and connections to make sure Brooklyn and Chase have Violet for good or temporary. It's your choice. And then she turned around, left that place. He looked, and he's standing there and looking salty. Yeah, you, you better get it together, Finn, cause this, this is it, rock bottom. Would you? And you know the other phone call you need to call Alexis, cause she said you was going to mm, escort you over there. That's what you need to do. Uh, <laughs> Tracy left there, went back to the queues. Um, Ray's on his on his job. He went to the gate, grabbed her, came back to the house. Tracy walked in just in time for her. Diane, she's there still talking to Chase in Brooklyn. And Lois was downstairs. And she uh, walked in. They all giving her a look. And she was like, yeah. Oh, Diane, you're here. Great. Save me the um, trouble for calling you or whatnot and all that good jazz. We're going to need a restraining order. I was like, mm. everybody gave me a look like, damn. I know Chase like, man, my dad only got enough. Picked up two kids. That's what it feel like. You picked up two kids, Chase. Yeah, he picked up two kids. So, um, pretty much, uh, Diane said she could set up a temporary custody and she could turn it into the judge in the morning. So that's what they're going to do. Um, Finn is just sitting there in his chair looking at pictures like, Sir, get up and go to that rehab place if you serious to getting your daughter back. Because we see in the previews that he's still in the apartment arguing about giving me my daughter. It's not looking good for you. Okay? That's it. It's a wrap. Let's go to Carly. Carly, 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 Carly. She does exactly what Jason thought she was going to do and did not want her to do. She wanted to do. Let me correct that. She's sitting in the office. Oh, no, I got to finish first. She's sitting in the office finishing up that sorry visit from Jagger with the champagne. Saying all kinds of ending. <laughs> She's saying all kinds of stuff to him on the slide. Now, mind you. She thinks he's talking about her, and he's talking about Pipeman, and so their conversation just totally off. But he's saying that it'll take maybe another week for him to wrap up things. He's so full of himself, right? I mean, you just sure, just like your good old pal Anna over there on the other side, just sure that she can outdo Valentine. So you go to his house and start searching why he's there. You think 
at that house that he says he bought for you, he kept evidence for Pipeman there? You think that both of y'all are so clever and so good for WSB spies that he wouldn't have any cameras or eyes on you? That totally didn't make any sense. Anyway, I digress. So we get back over here. Carly finished off her conversation with him. He leaves out and here go good old Spinelli. Who said he couldn't talk somebody off of the ledge? My guy did a fantastic job today. He came in there for his voice all. Hey, Carly. Uh, she's like, yeah, you, you, you. He was like, ah, I don't know how this conversation about to go. But she went from all kinds of emotions. She was explaining she's feeling all kinds of ways. She, She's moved. She's angry. She's frustrated. She's just, ah. So she, he was like, yeah, um, so what you plan on doing with the uh, info? She, he was like, I, uh. Samantha, she, Samantha, he's mentioned Sam for something, and she was like, "Listen, listen, I don't care about that relationship. I know that's right, girl. You never did. I mean, why should you? I, yeah, she's like, I don't care about that. She's like, I need to fix this, and I need to fix this now. And he was like, Um, how you gonna do that? She's like, I'm going to Jake's, and I'm going to Jagger, and tell him you might as well go ahead and lock me up now, and and let go of Jason or something like that. He was like, Oh, no, you don't. Mm -mm. He explained to her, crazy and pause lady, that um, these past two to three years of all the work that Jason done did, you're going to ruin it if you turn yourself in. You're going to have all that be a waste. Um, she's like, oh, how can I... Um, how can I fix this? He 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 spent all that time away from his kids and his his family and all that. And, and Spinelli was like, you know, he will do it for all of us, and he loves you like I would do it for Maxie because I love her. And she's like, you would do that for Maxie? He's like, in a heartbeat. He was like, because Jason loves you <clears throat> like I love Maxie. Now listen. Y'all gonna keep playing in our face with this Carly and Jason so love and so tight and so loyal, but y'all not gonna give it. Y'all not just gonna finish it, cross the damn line and put them together. No, because this bestie, bestie, and I love you, and I'm, it's getting a little creepy. So I either do the shift already or, or just tone it down or not, please. You hear? So he was like, uh, you know, all that Jason did what he did because he knew that his sons had mothers and they was going to be there. He's like, Donna, if you could go and turn yourself in, Donna don't have nobody. Where's she, where's she going with your kids? Because we all know we don't want her with Sonny. Not right now because you got to fix all your issues. So that stopped her in the chat tracks for now, as she said. She said, um... But I'm going to fix this. Again, you still stuck on it. You're going to fix this. So basically, Sam already did her damage over here. You know what I mean? Jason, when he finds out, got to clean that up. She done dragged poor Spinelli. And, you know, nobody cared about his kids. Okay, yeah, great. And now Carly is on the loose. Um, She's like, I don't know how I'm going to fix this, but um, I'm going to find a way. That's not good. Because your way is going to be a no way. And everybody's going to end up in jail. Let's go over there to Sonny. We got Sonny has a little office today. He got a visit for Christina today. She came with a little gift. Some basil something. Some kind of ingredients for some kind of dish. She brought it over there to give it to him. They had a nice little small, small convo. And then all of a sudden he was like, well, I mean, you brought me all this now. I'm, I'm inspired to cook. What you doing for dinner? Did you eat yet? And she was like, actually, I'm, I'm here meeting Blaze. As soon as he said that, in comes walking Blaze and her mama. Yeah, Natalia was just right there all the time, eh? Now, apparently, this got to be the same day because Natalia is wearing that same dress that she had on at the beach. I mean, I said the beach. The pool. The wannabe beach. <laughs> um, at the pool. So, um, 
Yeah, all right. So I'm trying to keep up with time because y'all be trying to play this. We, um, one minute is one week and next is six months later. So they came walking in. She was like, uh, Dave was just coming from a shopping spree and she knew that Dave was meeting up. So she just wanted to tag along and say hi to Sunny. So he was like, well, everybody's here. Don't nobody leave. I can cook. What do y'all say? Y'all stay for dinner. Everybody gave everybody looks and blaze and uh, I was about to say Molly. Christina is like, um, yeah, okay, sure, perfect. I know this is like, it would have been the highlight of Sunny's day, <sighs> but they somebody let the snake in. So they were sitting there having a nice convo and dinner. Um, Natalia helped Sunny in the kitchen you know after Sonny laid down the rules he was like it's on her on the rule in the kitchen she was like what's that I'm the boss <laughs> yeah 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 okay just go ahead little man so they went up and made dinner quite fast by the way um and then they were all four sitting there it, they was really having a nice dinner I was I kept my eyeball on Sonny like please don't have no issue don't have no issue don't have no issue <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting. I don't know what's going on. Somebody going to say something wrong. And I'm like, I'm like mm, look up. Here come Ava walking in of all places. Why did you come there? Well, do she make a stop every day? To, hey, I'm on my way home. See you there? Yeah, I don't know. She comes walking in. If awkward had a face, it would have been them. Hmm? Read the room had a f definition picture. It, it, it would have been hers. It was just like... When you walk through that room, you should have felt the ice come dagging at you. And I would have turned my little arms back around and bars. But no, she made herself known. She's like, oh, it's Miss Pleasant, a nice little dinner. And then she just welcomes herself. She don't let nobody say anything. She's like, oh. Uh, they was like, yeah, we had a, Sunday was like, yeah, um, I had some ingredients. We whipped it up and Natalia helped and um she's really good in the kitchen and you know he doing the flirt conversation with natalia and natalia laughing and back up and meanwhile christina is shooting daggers at um ava and ava shooting daggers at natalia like oh <laughs> a common pattern ma'am you don't see the other eyeballs at you pay attention over there so she goes Oh, well, I'll just pull it. I'm kind of famished myself. Let me get a chair. Nobody asked you. You didn't even ask. You just, oh, I'm famished myself. Let me grab a chair. No. <laughs> Child. Christina jumped up so fast. I be damn. She said, you would have hell not. I am. There's no way in hell I'm sharing a dinner with the woman who stabbed my mother in the back. Everybody was like, hmm? She then scored at the end of this, scored some points to with Natalia because Natalia was just looking at her like, You stuck up for your mother. I would be so proud. I mean, you know you would. That's the kind of reaction you want for you, right? Huh? Yeah. Back to her. So she goes, uh, um, Ava says, oh, I don't know what you mean. She's like, oh, you know what I mean? You the one who turned in my mother. Oh, why? Because she broke your little brother's heart? I was like, oh, God. Oh, Christina. <laughs> Company. And she didn't give a crap. She didn't give a crap, honey. She let all that fly out. She was getting hyped. Blaze was trying to calm her down. Then all of a sudden, Sunday was like, uh, somebody want to fill me in? Um... Honey, Ava turned around and was like, listen, I'll give you the unbiased uh, version when you get home. And you can go ahead and fill them in. And turned around and walked out. You should have did that when they said that they was eating dinner. You said, oh, okay, great. I'll catch you at home. And But no, you stayed for all that smoke Christina had. She said what she had to say. Ava left. Sunny looking at her. So she explains what, hap what happened. And the fact that her mom just found out, and like I said, Natalia was like, oh, you should be, her, your mother will be so proud. She's like, I'm so sorry I ruined dinner and this and that and third. And they was like, oh, no, you ain't ruined nothing. You told her just look up with your, for your mama. That's what you're supposed to do. So at the end of the day, they sat down, had some kind of dessert that Sonny made up, and uh, 
Yeah, now Sonny knows. Now, uh, what he going to say when he get home? Hopefully, it's get out. Yeah, so that was pretty much it for today. It was um, not an action pack, but it was a lot of info coming to you fast. And I told y'all Tracy Quarterman was the one to get fed on straight. You don't play around with the cues. So that was pretty much it for today. If I miss anything, please comment below. Hit the like button. Um, Tomorrow, with that whole fin thing, I hope he go to rehab because I think he was speaking to Diane. If you're speaking to Diane, it's probably not going to go great. So, woohoo. Anyway, enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see y'all later in the chat.